can't think of anything too strange to get an image. Um, but I've been involved in some strange situations um, in order to keep my images. Um, I've, had to, I've once had my camera stolen by some jungle children and had to go off barefoot and the next day and try and trace them down. And I got it back, all my pictures. Um, I was recently photographing, well, I was filming um, uh, in a place called El Alto in Bolivia, uh, in a, outside a prison. And I knew they, they're very sensitive about me taking photographs or filming, but I needed it because I'd shot everything else and this was going to be the beginning of the film. Um, and I'd already tried getting it with permission into the jail and I couldn't get all the way in, so they chucked me out. And, and so I, there was a storm coming and, um, and I had to get it. You know, the storm, the plane that it's all on. And so, you know, you can't just do these things secretly. You just got to do them. Once I'd done them and I knew that they were watching me from their tower and everything, I thought to myself, right, get that card. I gave it to my producer, hide this, um, and the card that was in my, um, in my little camcorder as well. And then I took some other photographs, um, getting up close to the, the prison then. And of course they came out, you can't do this, you can't do that, even though I could, but of course you can't argue. Um, and they wanted me to rip the film out of the camera. They probably wanted my camera, but. They wanted me to rip the film out of the camera, of course, uh, I was shooting digitally, but I was lucky enough to have done these other images and in front of them, delete them, even though there's some good ones in my heart, oh no. You know, I knew I had, the, had it. Once they'd seen it in the little trash can, um, I pulled it off and off I went with everything that I wanted. And if I hadn't have done that, um, that would have been, uh, that would have been a sad day. So there, that's the kind of things I can think of, but I haven't really dressed up as a rabbit <laughs> or anything like that. Um, God, where do you start? Uh, I've had a makeup artist sat on my legs while I've hung off the side of a boat to get an angle for a photo. Um, I've climbed a crane um, in a 4.6 to get a photo. Um, I've hung off the, uh, the side of a Bumblebee Boat Cruises boat in February um, to get photos of kayakers. Yeah, I, I do a lot of stupid stuff to get a photo, probably stuff that's gonna get me uh, gonna get me quite seriously hurt one of these days. But yeah, I'll pretty much do what I have to to get, to get the shot. Um, I was in India um, traveling and I was taking pictures of people in a crowd and there was one local guy that was trying to catch my attention because he wanted me to take a picture of him. So I was kind of having a mess around and making funny faces and he was copying and I was snapping away. And the last picture I got, I was like, oh, I bet he won't be able to do this. So I kind of made, a, made some glasses with my hands and kind of did that sort of thing. And, um, and he managed to do it. So I got a good picture of him. That was probably one of the weirdest things. <laughs> Uh, the strangest thing I'd done, and probably the stupidest thing I've done, was to stand on top of uh, the fort out at Grand Rock just before a thunder and lightning storm struck, and I was waving a two metre long metal pole around uh, to produce my light painting work. And it briefly dawned on me that that probably wasn't the most sensible idea until a strike of lightning hit very close by. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's, that's probably easily the, the winner for that one. Um. I don't think I've done anything too strange, so um, I have on numerous occasions bought beers for random people on the streets. I can think of one occasion in Cuba, um, I took a photo of a guy and it produced just a fantastic image. He had you know, wrinkles all over his faces and everything and he was just a real character and I thought I've got to get this guy a beer, so I went and got him, him and his mate a couple of beers. So. Well the first thing that comes to mind would be a helicopter that I recently took um, to get some interesting pictures from, from obviously from the air of Jersey. It's been done before, but um, it was it was a pretty stunning day in June, um, and we we actually took the door of the helicopter, which meant I could lean out completely down the side of the helicopter. And and um, beauty of a helicopter was you know it goes quite slowly, whereas I've been in a plane before, and it's all so quick. Can you pass by things? 
very quickly. So with the helicopter there was a lot more control. We could slow it down and, and really get some interesting shots from the air, which was which was a great thing to do. Yeah, I got some lovely images from that. I guess um, certainly locally, not not too long ago, there's there's a area near Portlet on the south coast here, not not Portlet Harbour by Plymouth, where there's a rock arch which I've always liked. You know, when I've been climbing around there years ago, and and to get a viewpoint there at high tides was very difficult. And and I actually I have got some old climbing. I don't go climbing now at all, but I have got some old climbing gear, and I. So sort of planned over a couple of days, uh, a whole trip, got a route, roped, set a rope up on the cliff face there and set up a tripod and then got up in the dark the next day and sort of went through all the brambles and slow bushes and tied myself onto the cliff there and waited for the high tides and the light and, and it wasn't too bad, it, it was worth the effort for, for a picture. So yeah, so done some odd things like that to, you know, determined to get, get what I want and I've had lots of ideas and sometimes they do take a, a while to execute for the time, the weather and tide and your availability. Sometimes I forget what I wanted to do as well. So.